Well, it's a truly miserable morning here at Pass Camp. Uh, it's been raining all morning. Um, we've been kind of just waiting in the tent, hoping it's going to stop raining. Uh, it's now eight o'clock, so we should really should really get a move on. It's not that far. It's only a five-hour hike to get to Shea Gompa over the pass, but it's a 5,300 meter pass. Um, we're 700 meters below the top now, um, and it's around freezing probably outside. It's still raining, probably just above freezing. I really don't like hiking up a big ascent when it's raining like this because it's probably going to be significantly below freezing at the top and it's raining hard enough so that we're probably going to get very wet on the way up there. Um, it's not nice to be in a really cold environment when you're wet. So we, we've kind of wasted as long as we could for it to stop raining but at some point we're going to have to actually push on if we want to get to Shagompa today. Um, so yeah, hmm. not, not ideal today. Well, it didn't actually take too long at all to reach the pass. Just two and a half hours. But it was a relentless, gruelling two and a half hours up a steep slope. Um, it was wet when we started. Um, not really raining too much, not torrential rain, but enough to uh, Enough to get us damp and wet out the face fabric on our waterproof, so I could just feel that that kind of build up of perspiration inside that was conducting my body heat away. It was starting to get a bit chilly, and as we climbed up, it was getting colder. Um, but it seems to have doesn't seem to have got much colder. It's still hovering around freezing. And uh, the um, the rain has turned to snow, and I've warmed up a little bit. And um, and this is it. This is Nagdalala. Um, can't really see much. It's a total whiteout that way, and that way, and uh, looks significantly steeper. The first few meters. I think we may be scrambling down rather than hiking but um, yeah could be worse could have definitely been worse if the rain was stronger and harder we could have got really wet and that wouldn't have been very nice but um, yeah it's another probably a good 700 meters down until we get to Shea Gompa I think so not particularly pleasant up here so I'm not going to be spending much time on top here. So after the pass we didn't really have any difficulties with the trail, it was well marked and uh, well used as well. We passed a whole different uh, menagerie of uh, pack animals coming up, mules and cows and yaks even. Um, so uh, yeah we've just arrived here in Shegompa and we were kind of expecting a little village but um, all there is is literally just the gompa over here and uh, a few tents down there. Um, but we've got um, 
we've got camping in our itinerary for today so we have food um, so it's all okay we're just putting the tent up now although I've just noticed that this little building here seems to be a little shelter that uh, maybe we could uh, maybe we could stay in there instead of tent 